To be honest with you, I do not like reviewing photography software. I've got my own system in place with Photoshop and Lightroom and learning new photography software takes forever. And so when Retouch for Me reached out and said they wanted to sponsor a video where I, you know, work through their photography retouching software, I was not excited. But I agreed to do it and for the last couple of hours I've been playing with this software and to be perfectly honest with you, it has absolutely blown my mind. I think this is officially my favorite program I have ever used before. It is ridiculously simple. It works in Photoshop, the program that I want to be working in anyway. It's super fast, it's non-destructive, and it's easily tweakable. Let me show you how insane this software is. All right, I'm in Photoshop with a standard stock photo of a girl. I'm going to go to plugins, retouch for me, and it's going to open up this panel. Now they gave me access to each one of these. I believe they're all sold separately. You can check all of this out for free uh, using the link below. There's a free trial, so don't buy anything. Check it out, see if you like it. But I believe each one of these can be purchased separately depending on your style of editing. I'm gonna go through each one of these one by one and show you what they do. So just click on this little blue checkbox here and click run. And it's going to create a mask for each one of these that's easily editable. I mean, check this out. So you can see it did an amazing job of healing her face completely automatically, which is just nuts. And what's great is that this is on a separate layer, which allows you to change the opacity if you just want to reveal a little bit more of the blemishes, make it look a little bit more realistic, or it allows you to come in and individually fine tune different pieces of it. Next up is Mattifier, and this is going to remove the reflections on people's nose, cheek, and forehead if they're a little bit oily. So check this out. I'm just gonna click Run. And once again, it has created its own layer here, toggling on and off so you can see it. And once again, if you feel like it's a little too heavy handed, just lower the opacity to a realistic level here. Something like that looks good to me. And moving on. Next up, dodging and burning, run. All right, let's check it out before after, before, after, before, after. I feel like this looks great. Obviously, it's a little bit too much for me. So once again, I'm just gonna lower the opacity a little bit to make her look a little bit more human. Next up, skin tone, run. Before, after, before, after. So what it's done is it's smoothed out the color in her skin just a little bit. For this one, I think I might like it with the original color, I kind of think she looks a little bit more human with that. So I'm just gonna leave this layer completely off. Next up, portrait volumes. Before, after, before, after, before, after. Again, if this one again feels kind of like dodging and burning. It's adding a little bit of contour to her face. And of course, I think it's gone a little bit too heavy handed. So we're just gonna add a little bit of opacity here to add some interest to the shot without making her look like a space alien. Next up is skin mask. I'll show you what this does. So as you can see, this has created a mask for somebody's skin. So if you wanted to do a global edit for somebody's skin and like change the color overall or change the brightness or add some sort of blurring effect to it, this is going to make that much more quick. I'm not going to be doing that, but I just wanted to show you how that works. Next up, whiten teeth, run. Before, after, before, after, I mean, this is so nuts. Uh, again, I feel like it's a little much. So something like that looks pretty good, I think, right there. Next up is eye vessels. It's just gonna remove the red spots in people's eyes. She doesn't have any in this shot, so I'm just gonna skip over that. We'll go to eye brilliance and run. And let's take a look before, after, before, after. I feel like her irises look good but the whites of her eyes are a little bit much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the mask button here. So I'm just going to mask out just the white parts that I feel like are a little bit overdone here. So now we've brightened the irises of her eyes without the white parts. I think that looks great. Now clean backdrop is for studio photography. I was playing with that with this other image here. If I click on clean backdrop and run, You'll see what this does. It, uh, it smooths out any imperfections and seamless backgrounds. And uh, it does an amazing job. I don't know if you guys can see this on YouTube, but trying to fix these imperfections on paper backgrounds that have like little wrinkles and stuff is such a pain in the butt. And this software just does it automatically. It's nuts. 
Here's another example that shows even more. You can see it not only cleans up the background, it's also cleaning up all the dirty footprints on the floor. So if you've ever shot on white before, you know this is huge. Anyway, back to the original image here. The last thing I'll show you is the fabric option. And this is going to remove wrinkles or at least minimize wrinkles from people's clothing. So she's got some wrinkles in her shoulders here. And we can see before, after, before, after. I mean, it's, it's just nuts that it can do that automatically. And here's another shot that I was playing with earlier that shows this even better. So let's look at the before and after here. Before, after, before, after, before, after. Almost completely automatically done for us. Basically, we're just changing the opacity of each one of these things. And what's cool is you do not have to do these one by one. I just deleted everything that we made and I can just click on what I'm interested in and click run and check this out. It's going to do everything for us all at the exact same time. All right, so here's everything at 100% opacity before, after, before, after. In my opinion, it's a little heavy handed. So all you have to do is just come in here and lower the opacity on each one of these to make it you know, look a little bit more realistic. I think fabric looks good, portrait volumes. Let's see what that one looks like. Something like that, dodge and burn. Let's tone that down a little bit. I think that looks good. Mattifier, tone it down just a little bit. And healing brush, we're gonna just bring back hints of those imperfections. And we are done. Before, after, before, after, before, after. I mean, that's absolutely nuts. So I'm sure you can see why I'm so impressed with this software and I see so much potential here. Obviously, if you're just doing one image at a time, this is amazing. It's so freaking simple and fast. You definitely have to check it out for yourself. But as a previous wedding photographer, this just has me thinking, like, could I somehow batch process an entire wedding with this software? You know, after you go through the, the standard call and edit. And looking on their website, they show you how you can create an action in Photoshop and then replay that action on every file that's in a folder, which is doable. But man, if they could figure out some way to do this directly in Lightroom, this would be huge. But even still, as it is right now, I think this is one of my favorite programs I have ever tested just because of how freaking simple it is. If you're interested, check it out. Like I said earlier, there is a 100% free trial, so don't just go out and spend any money. Definitely try it for yourself. Make sure that it works with your style of photography and your style of editing. And then if you do decide to buy, uh, we also put a discount code down below so you can save a little bit of money. But uh, for once, I have actually enjoyed using this software. Hopefully you will too.